All right, Matt. We are back <coughs> in the garage with the Furious Civic. Yes. Part six of the Furious Civic build, and we are doing Lambo, Lambo doors. <laughs> right. So that's one of the fantastic parts that we picked up is some Lambo door hinges, and we're just gonna get them installed. I mean, every you know you don't show even car. Seen them yet? Have you? I haven't seen them. I haven't seen them in person. I've seen a picture. But every like uh, Fast and Furious spec show car needs Lambo doors, I think. So we've got these sick hinges. Look That's mad. They're things. huge. They got hydros. Legit. Yeah. So we're gonna be installing those. This is our first time doing it, so we have no idea how to do it. It should be as easy as just putting hinges on, right? It's just replacing hinges. Yeah. I don't know. We're gonna have a bunch of issues with fitment, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get to it. Let's hop into it, Matt. Let's do it. So, Matt, like we said, Matt and I have never used Lambador hinges before. So, pretty much what we're going to do is kind of look at them and figure out how they go on. Uh, second thing, because these are used, we're going to make sure to give them a good once over, make sure that the welds are good, no cracks. Um, just, uh, you know, take a look at all the fittings and just tighten them up, make sure they're tight, and uh, just give it a good once over and. Uh, you know, make sure that we know how to use these because we noticed that there's some grease irks, so we're gonna have to grease those up. There's also some, uh, like this adjustment here. I don't know what this is for. This must be like where the door stops or some sort of adjustment like that. Because it'll bump up against here from the looks of it. So as we adjust it this way or that way, it'll stop on here. Right, okay. In the right position so that the door will latch properly. Yeah. That's my understanding, but again, right. this is all new for us too, so. Yeah. So first thing is, uh, uh, I guess, figure out what side is what, and then uh, we got to take that door off. I'm quite confident this is the passenger side, because you wouldn't want your driver's side going this way into the car. Yeah, I have no idea how that's all going to fit. Oh, uh, I might be wrong. That could very well be the driver's that side. Looks, <laughs> that looks better. That looks better. Because you want your door way up in the mm -hmm. air, not on the ground. Right? Yeah, you do. This is going to be fun. Yeah, all right. Let's go on this journey together. Let's uh, figure this out. Let's lift up some doors. Okay, so we found the passenger side hinge. And uh, if you want to see what it looks like up against the car, like against the um, existing hinge, we got two of the bolts out for this hinge already. But um, pretty much this is kind of how it's going to sit. Yeah, it slides in there just like Matt's doing. I think that's gonna work. Looks like it's lining up. We did some measurements before and things look okay. So, uh, yeah. I am stoked. It's pretty this. good. Yeah, it's got the holes. It's, let's see what happens. I can tell though that we're gonna have to hide all of this in the fender. So when we put the fender back on, Matt, we're uh, gonna run into some clearance issues and we'll probably yeah, have to cut we'll some have things out. some trimming. I think from the inside of the fender, there's just a bit of, we'll have to do but mm -hmm. shouldn't be too big a deal no. we were expecting that so um, yeah now we should get in there with a bracket so uh, I'm gonna grab Bertha no just a flat screwdriver will be enough oh no 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 Matt go big or go home go big or go home and Bertha she's a big girl she doesn't go home here we go Sometimes all you need is a bit of bursa. Door just barely came off. We're gonna test fit this thing. High hopes, Matt, high hopes. Okay. So do you have a line up there? Huh, that's kind of weird. But... Kind of sits. Are we gonna need some spacers or are we gonna need to uh, yeah, we might need either spacers or we're gonna need to hammer in this right here. Maybe that's what the, we need to clear out so that it sits flat. Possibly. Because if, you know, our door might not sit when it's closed, it might not sit lined up here. Because this is gonna be at an angle once we tighten this. This is gonna be at an angle. Yeah. So either we put some spacers behind here which will possibly bring the door out and we'll have gapping problems here, or we smash this in. So maybe to try, what we should do is, 
is uh, without modifying the car, we can easily put some spacers here, see what it does. test fit it, see what it looks like, and then decide if we gotta. Because we have know. some pretty decent adjustability here too, so we may be able to line the door up okay. Yeah. I'll give it a try. Let's give it a try. The first thing is to just test fit it, do some trial and error, and then, yeah. and then if we need, then we can start smashing the car up, if that's a good idea. Well. We'll decide it when the time comes. But uh, so, what what do you think, Matt? Do we put it on the on the car first, or do we attach the hinge to the door first? Attach the hinge. Attach this to the car. 100%. So Matt, what uh, what's our status? Well, I mean, the door is on. Oh, that looks so good. Worked a lot better than we were expecting. I mean, everything is lining up, so we know this is the right hinge for this car. And uh, the struts seem to work pretty good. They're a little soft. A little soft right at the top, but um, we still gotta adjust some of the yeah screws so it doesn't bind on anything, but. But um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Um, it is so good. Too. It is so good. And hey, Matt, do you want to close the door? Um, there's a little bit of gapping issue, which of course we're going to have because we haven't aligned this yet. But when we close the door as best as we can right now, you know what? Actually, it didn't. It's so close. It closed. So the hit the um, the it's very close gap in here though. Yeah, it's locking up. Yeah, so I mean. Right down here, I don't know if you can see, that lines up good. Yeah? You agree? We got, we got them agreeing. Uh, gaps are pretty good, except when we get over here, it, the door kind of comes out a bit. But honestly, it's not too much when you close the door. Uh, it's not bad. So what we have to do is move the bracket in. And so you can see we got this bit of gap here, and that's because on the... Um, fender, I guess, whatever you want to call this, we have this lip, and there's a small lip that we're probably going to hammer in right here, and we should be able to get the door in enough. Yeah. Uh, EJ agrees. Four thumbs up. Thumbs so, up. So next step, we're going to do some adjustments and see how close we can get it. Yeah, I like that idea. So we've spent a few minutes bashing in this, um... Turn the music off. Okay. Don't be right. We like to listen to Latino gangster rap while we work on cars. Uh, it's very, uh, you know, era correct. So pretty much what we did is we kind of bashed up right, right here, along here, as well as this piece. This piece and a little bit of this divot too. So we kind of collapsed this a bit and it is now nice and flat. We just did a test fit and our two upper bolts here, the, the plate, yeah, Matt's gonna test fit it here. The plate fits really well. It's all, you know. Yeah, no spacers yeah. needed, no. No, it's fitting flat. It's looking good, so we're, I guess now we're just gonna bolt it up, put the door on again and uh that might have eliminated that whole gap up here too so alignment might be much better now yeah we'll awesome see. let's give it a try so uh update we did some banging as you saw we got the door reinstalled and did a little bit of adjusting and my i gotta say this thing oh, it works so, so well so this is the door closed and it's tough to see on camera but Trust us, the the gaps are really good. They're as good as they were before with the other door hinges, and this gap going down the door line is very close as well. Yeah, that's we're pretty even there, even enough. So, I mean, man, it just fits so well. And check this out: the door, as it opens, like closing, is that easy and just closes. It's so nice. It just 
It lifts up. Really? Show me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. You probably didn't believe it, but man alive, it lifts up. It just sits there. Yeah, it's just kind of... So, so, the next step is to, you know, clearance our fender like we were talking about. We need a little bit of, um... A little, little bit of clearance on the lip of the fender. Um, that kind of goes along here because this arm slides up and down and so we just gotta really bend that lip in a bit. That shouldn't be that hard. We're gonna, I guess, fit the fender and then, um, you know, we'll get like a, a better, much better idea of what it's gonna look like with the, the fender on. So good, Tim. Oh, this is so exciting. Let's close it once. <laughs> Way too hard, guys. Didn't need to do it that hard, but man. Goodness, all right. Good. Next, time. next step. So we just went and measured. Uh, we kind of uh, put the fender on. We lifted the door to see uh, where the arm interferes. So what happens is um, as the door pulls out, this arm here uh, pulls out this way and lifts up. So what we needed to do on the fender is uh, cut out this little piece here. Um, to make clearance for that. So we're just going to kind of cut with some tin snips and bend this lip in and uh, see if that gives us the clearance we need. I think so. Hammer time! I don't even know if we need a hammer, Tim. Oops. Mr. Muscles over here. Just bends it in by hand. That's all I got. Sorry. Sorry, folks. Hey, let me try. Do you want gloves, Tim? No way. PPE is key. That's true. I would be able to have a little more force with gloves. Are this gloves drawer with the PPE. PPE drawer. These are so nasty. Christmas gift ideas. If anyone wants to get me a Christmas gift, send it to MT Garage at 100 MT Garage Place. Uh, so just. Christmas gift idea. We'll put the P.O. box below. Yeah. We got a P.O. box. If you want to send us gloves. Man, hey. I'm not as strong as you. I can't do this. So we got it back together. We got the fender on. We kind of been lining up some gaps. We got a little bit of a gapping issue here in the fender to deal with. It gets kind of wide. Um, we clearanced out the inside of the fender so this arm can uh, slide up and down freely like we showed you before and that's working good fender fits good door works good i mean this is a uh, pretty successful i'm surprised how yeah. well this went actually yeah there's a little bit more clearancing we need to do because what's happening when the when the hinge is sliding up there's a, an adjustment nut on it that's actually hitting the inside of this fender right at the top here, just the tiniest bit. So we're gonna take a grinder to it, just, just kind of uh, flatten it down so that we have a little more clearance. Other than that though, I mean, this went super well. I'm so happy with how quickly it went and how easily everything worked. There was less uh, customization and fabrication that we needed to do than I expected. So, I don't know, success? I'd say so. End of day one. We're back in the garage. It is Saturday morning. Matt's uh, doing a little bit of work on Frankenstein Civic there. And in the meantime, I have put the speaker and the door panel back in the passenger side door. So when doing this, we now realize that um, we have the clearance that we need there. That was one of the things we're worried about. Uh, the other thing was whether the weight of this panel was uh, Gonna be too much for that strut because it hardly wanted to hold up the door without the panel on and we found out that yes it is too much weight so we need new struts for these hinges so in doing that you know we went to this uh, the driver's side one here and uh, took some measurements of this strut you know googled it a bit and found that we can you know, find some replacements online for a pretty good price eBay of course they still make them, thankfully. Um, so I'm gonna take this apart um, because the replacement units 
don't come with this end bracket or uh, this mounting end up here. So they only come with the shaft. So we have to take this off, do some measurements, make sure that the threading on the ends is the same as ones online. And then uh, we'll have to get those ordered. All right, so we got the strut off and uh, compared it against the measurements online. And we can find a direct replacement, which is awesome. And they're cheap too. It's like 30 bucks per strut, which I think is a good price for hydraulic struts. So we're gonna go ahead, order those up. But in the meantime, we can still fully install these hinges because uh, the struts are serviceable while the hinge is on the car. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and uh, you know, continue on. All right, driver's side door is in and that one actually holds with the door panel in. So, I mean, that one's good. So we're gonna do the same thing as we did on the passenger side where we close it, adjust all the gaps. We'll have to uh, do a little bit of clearancing on the fender, put it all back. That's about it. Oh, that one works way better. Oh, it is very out, but. Adjust that. It holds much better, yeah. It's still not great for the drums, but... Yeah. But we got new struts on the way. Oh, yeah. So there you have it. We installed Lambo doors on our budget show car. Uh, it worked out pretty well considering uh, that they were used parts. Uh, the driver's side was a lot more work than the passenger side mm -hmm. because uh, I think this car must have been in a collision at some point because everything's just a little bit off. Other than that, though, we got it all lined up. And, I mean, we have Lambo doors on our Civic. We sure do. That's another thing to add to the list. We got PlayStation 2 inside. We got a sweet wing. And we have a few more things coming. You know, we have a body kit coming. Oh, yeah. I know, we're, we're impressed. So, that's it for this episode. And we do have a paint color. We do have a so, paint color chosen. We chose it months ago. Yeah. And we've been, we have... We have it, so I know that's you know exciting things coming up soon. But uh, we'll leave it on a cliffhanger. Cliffhanger, yeah. So yeah, end of episode. We're gonna go clean up the garage because that has to be done. Yeah, it's a mess. All right. If you like the video, and even if you don't, please comment, like, and subscribe. You help us out a lot if you do. There you go. All right, chill. How many VTEX does this thing have?